What is up guys, it's Buran here today with the first deck after uh, 20 minutes ago was released Unified Minds in Pokemon Trading Card Game Online. Fortunately I had few cards that I can add to the deck that I wanted to record for you guys today so that's what I did and this is gonna be the first uh, video with cards of Unified Minds in the deck. Uh, I don't have all of them yet because you know I only opened a bunch of packs uh, but don't worry slowly so we're gonna upgrade the collection and slowly you know more and more uh, cards are gonna be put in those decks so this is a deck I prepared um, today during the stream a little bit and that is a Mook and Mook deck and I wanted to do it this deck adjust I wanted to try to make this deck better with uh, what we had right now but fortunately there was also Unified Minds coming and I opened a few cards that I felt like you know they are not that bad to be in this deck so first things first don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you want to see that pack opening and if you want to see everything from Pokemon Trading Card Game Online that I put on this channel uh, and also don't forget to check me out live on Twitch that's the Twitch channel Raven called Snatchku that's where I'm at all right Ready? So let's go. So Mook and Mook deck. Severe Poison, Poison Absorption. That is exactly what we want to use. But I wanted to accelerate that energy. And I figured, you know what? Butterfree was not that bad. So bam, we've got a nice line of Butterfrees. So we've got three Caterpies, three Metapods, and three Butterfrees. Just for that triple charge acceleration. <laughs> Excuse me, acceleration on the energy, right? So that is quite quite cool and by turn two actually you should be able to attack with the full force but on top of that I thought you know what it's cool to have three mooks mooks but also I might want something nice as well some nice GX attack on top of that so I was like you know what let's add a Mew and Mewtwo not only for the miracle duo but also it still works as a mook and mook uh, so I figured you know what 200 uh, damage GX that's not bad, right? Uh, especially that it heals all the damage from all of our Pokemons. I'm like, all right, that can make sense, and let's just try to add this card to the format, right? Because, again, it's Psychic-type. We are all revolving around Psychic-type energy, so the energy for the GX is also not a problem. And I'm not going to be always using uh, the GX of Mook and Mook, so I figured, you know what, that is not a bad idea. And on top of that, we have one the Dene GX. So let's go to the trainer cards, shall we? So we got two Cherish Balls. I have not opened more. Uh, if I would open more, I would play four, but I only opened two. So two Cherish Balls, but they are enough. Honestly, in my opinion, they are enough in this deck, because we do not, you know, use a ton of GX here. Four Poké Gear 3.0 to find the supporter cards, four Pokémon Communications, one Reset Stamp, we've got three switches and one Tag Switch, because sometimes, you know, we will want to switch the energies from one Tag Team to the other, and that will help us to do so. Then we have three Dust Islands, four Cynthia's, right, four gorgeous, gorgeous Cynthia's, three Kogus traps to give uh, this additional additional uh, poison and confusion on our opponent Pokemon, two lilies, three Pokemon, uh, like Pokemon, three uh, Professor Elm's lectures just to get those Caterpies as soon as possible, then one Red's challenge, one Titan laser for additional switch, and two giant bombs. Why giant bombs? Well, uh, I figured it's not a bad addition, especially because it deals 10 damage, right? So it deals like 100 damage, so 10 damage counters. Uh, but also it will work kind of almost spell tag-ish to some, uh, some degree. And I wanted to add some more unified minds to this deck. So that's you know, like my a little bit, you know, twist of not using spell tag, but using something else like giant bomb. Of course, uh, it gets discarded at the end of our opponent's turn. So we have to be careful when we put it. But if our uh, uh, active Pokemon takes at least 180 uh, damage or more, right? We can put those 10 damage counts to 100 damage on our opponent Pokemon, which in our deck works quite tremendously. And 12 psychic type energy. So that is the deck and let's just go and play it. Of course, the whole deck is down there below in the description. You can just copy and paste it to your Pokemon trading card game online and play it if you want to. So let's find the deck, uh, M, where's letter M? It's, uh, ooh, ooh. 
over here. All right, so let's go. Let's play uh, the game. So do you want to go first or do you want to go second? With this deck, you want to go second if you feel lucky. Because you're risking a little bit with, uh, of course, you're risking a little bit with Kata pace, right? So that's what I'm going to try. I'm going to try to play one game second, one game first. So here uh, we're going to start by going actually this time second, just to show you guys what can happen if you go second with this deck. Of course, we did not have anything. That's kind of a shame, but hey. It's still, you know, we can still pull something uh, off. Of course, Reset Stump, a fantastic, fantastic late game card, but also a nice uh, early game card just to mess with your opponent a little bit. Of course, you know, you can play a judge, but the fact that this is a trainer card, it's a lot better. And look at that, we got a Cherish Ball already, so that means I can go for a nice Alolan Mook when I'm gonna go, and I'm gonna be second. Without even, you know, actually without even, uh, without even uh, sweating, right? And I can still play Cynthia, I can still play Koga Strap, Lilies, I can still play a ton of things. And of course, I think we're going to see a lot, a lot of nice things here. Of course, you know, I know I could have put the Nest Balls here for now, just to say how the deck performs with the Cherish Ball. But I figure, you know what, we're going to do it legit. So that is a Garchomp Zygarde deck. What do you even do, Mr. Zygarde? Defending Pokemon can't retreat, alright. And what else? If this Pokemon has any damage counters on this uh, on it, it does 60. Alright, so I have to deal with it the proper normal way. So pupate. Oh, and it's tails. It's already tails. Cherish Ball. What is here quite important is that after Cherish Ball, the card goes to your hand. So you can still use the effect of the Dene, of course, if you want to. Okay, and Cynthia. I don't like to play that Cynthia, but I you know we kind of have to. Energy on Alolan Mook and Mook and pass the turn. Because here I can't play Koga's Trap because I don't want my opponent's Pokemon to attack for 150, of course. Uh, 150? No, it's 120. My mistake. It's 120 damage. He is playing DCE, definitely, even though rotation is two weeks uh, away. But I have to be careful because they can still play cards like that. Rumble, 20 damage. It's okay. It's fine. I'm okay here. We've got a Dust Island, so we're going to get rid of uh, rid of that. Mm, all right, Pupate, come on. Oh, Tails again. No. No, 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 no. That's not something I... Hmm. I wanted to see. You know what? Let's go. So, Koga Strap, Confusion. Ah, uh, so you see, like, you know, you have to feel lucky, right? You have to be lucky with this deck. Again, I think, you know, this is the first time today when I'm, you know, being really unlucky with the coin flips. But maybe my opponent is going to be unlucky as well. So that is Guzma. And of course, of course, uh, the poison will stay. Uh, he's going to retreat and he's going to attack me for one 20 that's gonna be a huge attack so i will have to you know use a switch next turn i can use another koga strap sure raging blade that's 120 damage that is oof that is a that is something and yeah he's not dealing enough to use giant bomb yet but it's good to have it right it's good to have it in your hand just in case pupate Oh, finally, there we go, we got a Metapod. Come on. Oh, uh, and Tails again. No, no, no. And I think a really cool thing about the Giant Bomb is that you can put it on the baby cards. And if something like Reshazad is attacking, well, they're gonna get hit back. And that is what I like. So Giant Ball, that's actually you know, the first time I have it in my hand at all. So that's quite, quite, quite interesting. Uh, severe Poison. Uh, it feels like he is going to... Like he's getting closer and closer to the knockout and I don't really like that. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to play the Dene. I need something, right? So even though... I'm just gonna play the giant bomb since it's gonna get discarded no matter what. The Dene. Let's use the effect. Okay. 
Cherish Ball. Mew and Mewtwo. Because I kind of know that, <laughs> let's be honest, our, our main Pokemon is going to get knocked out at a certain point. So let's shuffle. Trap, and of course what I'm going to do is I'm going to go for for Caterpie again. And we're going to try to build Butterfree on our bench. Because, you know, if you're lucky, you can do it during your one turn, right? Turn one, you can already have it. Was I lucky here? No, I was not lucky here at all. Okay, so next turn. Oh. Okay, there, that's a switch. Rialu. Okay, so he, all right, so he's getting rid of the poison, which makes you know makes sense. But I'm gonna heal next turn with uh, after using Koga's trap and of course you know playing energy on 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 my uh, Mook and Mook. If I want to. Heads. Alright, we got heads. Come on, emerge. Oh! No emerge. So, Koga's Trap. Because I do want to heal, right? I do want to heal. So, Poison Absorption. 120, we're gonna heal. Or 100, sorry, that's 100. We're gonna heal. He can deal 120 damage right now. Uh, so he can risk it, right? Like Marshall and Machamp can risk it. Or you know, he can put uh, another energy for 100 blows impact if he if he wants to. But does he want to? Uh, and I think he wants to put that. Uh, so we're gonna say a knockout on our tag team. So in the numbers game, we are losing a little bit. Yep, there it is. And of course, he has a weakness towards psychic type, so definitely no Mew and Mewtwo can pull this off. And I still have GX attack, two more prize cards. So this turn, this turn is crucial. It has to land, right? So emerge. And it landed. Oh my, like the, the one turn I needed it to land, it landed. How fantastic it is. Uh, Pokegear. Cynthia. And we're gonna play Cynthia. Alright, so we got another Caterpie. I don't wanna play it. Uh, nothing really else here. Energy we have for the next turn. So triple charge and energy is going to go on Mew and Mewtwo. There we go. So I have a knockout here. He can attack for 200. I can use Miracle, uh, Miraculous Duo to heal and actually knock out Garchomp here. Oh, that is gonna be... Oh, that is gonna be something. Let me tell you. That is a really close game. Even though he has an uh, advantage of prize cards, because he has only two, this is a really close game. Come on, Butterfree. Like, I know Butterfree is dead. Like, we know that. But I was curious if he's gonna use the GX attack or not. He did not use a GX, which works really for me, uh, to be quite honest. Reset stamp would be fantastic <laughs> right now, and maybe that's what I should have went for, but it's okay. Okay, that's the prize. Mew and Mewtwo, of course, comes into play. Pokegear, maybe a little, okay, Lily. Uh, a draw of two. Maybe you're gonna have that amazing, amazing, amazing reset stamp that I need. We do not. So let's play Pokegear. So red, so okay, I'm gonna have reset stamp next turn. Okay. And of course you can see we have even a GX attack 
right? I can even use a GX attack, but what I'm gonna do is uh, I'm gonna use po actually I can't really use poison absorption, can I? Because even though he's he has a weakness. This is gonna hit me for this. I'm gonna use a GX. I hate to do that, but I have to use a GX. So miraculous duo. Knockout. Like it hurts to use it, right? It it, it hurt me to use that. But I had to, and I kind of have to hope that he has no energy right now. But also, there's a giant bomb in my head right now. And he might not have Cynthia in his hand. Like, I had to risk it, right? Like, there was no other option. Because I, I thought he's 240, not 270. But we still were able to actually pull this off, right? We're still able to do it. All right. Of course, if he has, you know, anything to get rid of the Dene, that's going to be a game for him. Cynthia for 200. Yep. That was one turn, one turn too late. Okay, I have to think, and I have to think fast. I think I can still do it. I know he plays Guzma, so that is... Ah, <sighs> that's terrible, but I can, I think, honestly think I can still pull this off. But I have to play Mook and Mook. Right? Okay, so now whatever I'm gonna do is gonna be crucial. So first things first, reset stamp. My every single move matters right now. Uh, Red's challenge. And I'm going to try to go for the tag switch. So I'm going to switch the energies. Right? So there goes retreat. There goes tag switch. Two energies onto Mook and Mook. Giant bomb just in case. And the fact that we played the Red's challenge is, you know... Well, actually, you know what? No, I can still pull this off. So this bomb should get him out of my way. And really, he just pulled Lily. Really, Lily. Really. Oh my, oh my, oh my. Okay, he's bench sniping. Yep, so he wins next turn. There's nothing I can do, GG. GG for, to my opponent. Maybe, maybe if those first few turns were a little bit different, right? Maybe then uh, that game would be a little bit different as well. Well, it happens, so this time we're gonna go first, actually. So we're gonna try to change everything a little bit and hopefully, you know, hopefully we will be able to pull off uh, the win, right? Come on. So let's see what we're gonna face. Shelby. Hey Shelby, how are ya? Okay, we've won a coin flip, so this means I want to go first this time. Ah, Butterfree, come on. 
Like, I know I need you turn one, but don't be like that. There we go, we got Katape, a Metapod, we've got a Tag Switch. And we're facing Macargo something. Hmm. Is it uh, a tin deck? Tin deck? Also, Elm's Lecture uh, to have more Caterpies. Turn one, you know, to be sure that we're gonna draw what I really need to draw. So, Elm's Lecture. Caterpies. And let's go. Pupate. Yes, it worked. Okay. Let's go all the way. Emerge. Okay, it did not work, but it's fine. It's fine. Heads. Alright, and I don't really want to play those two. Like, it doesn't matter in the long run for me. Emerge. Oh, there we go. Look at that. So, yes, if I would... <laughs> So now if I would go second, I would already had some energy. You see, so you know, that's that's what uh, I'm talking about. If it comes to this deck, if you if you're lucky, you're gonna have this energy as soon as possible. If you're not lucky, just like I am, well, you will not really get it as soon as possible. Cause come on, like this is a turn one stage two, right? Ah, uh, Repel, really? Who uses Repel? This is not even, this is, oh. That's my, okay, I, that's the first time I'm seeing Repel being used. And uh, of course, that is rotating out, Nazbol is rotating out, Volpex is rotating out. Just, you know, just so you guys know. Fanglab stays. Come on. Magnemite from Forbidden Light, of course. Ultra Ball, another card that is rotating out. Oh, oh, oh that was that Necrozma over here. That is interesting. Necrozma just hiding there in the shadows. All right. Beacon. So he's gonna go for Nine Tails and Magnezone, I'm gonna assume. Or something like that. Oh, Picaram and Magnezone. Okay, makes sense. Emerge? Ha! <laughs> I emerged, but. Well, still, you know. Uh, the energy is on the wrong one. We've got Lily and Red's challenge. Nope. None of those. Tate and Liza, shuffle. So even though I've got a Mook and Mook, I can't really switch those two Pokemons, but I have Switch in my deck. So I, I'm gonna play the Dene just to find that Switch. Because this Switch, or Energy, to be honest, because I have not played Energy this turn, that is crucial. And we've got the Energy. We've got the Energy. So triple charge, one, two, three, there we go. That's what I'm talking about. That is looking good on our side. It's really looking good. This is the deck, I mean, really, there's one Dedenne in the deck and it just saved me. Which I'm quite happy <laughs> about. Oh boy. So you see now we, we're in the turn two. And... Or turn three of his and after turn two of mine and, you know, the energy is on my side, right? Five energy on board. If he would play energy each turn, and during this turn he would add third energy. So we still have two energies more on the board than him. And... We're in a little bit better shape. Of course, I can waste one more turn to play uh, Mook and Mook again. Use the Butterfree attack again. 
Or I can just, you know, retreat and start attacking. And honestly, I think that's what I need to do. That's what I need to start doing. Because giving him, you know, one or two more turns is just bad. It's a bad idea. I have to be more aggressive right now. Especially looking at this hand. Okay, we got some Kogus traps. Retreat. Okay, attack switch will not work. There we go, Dust Island. And Severe Poison will do it. So there we go, we are uh, getting more aggressive, right? Of course, you know, cards like Reset Stamp would be quite good, just to mess uh, with his hand. We got a Mook and Mook in hand. I feel, you know, quite confident in this game right now. Because I don't think like, his hand is... Maybe, you know, four cards are Pokemon. Two that I don't know. One, uh, he just drew Ultra Ball. Okay. Discard. Okay, so he's left with Pokemons. That's what I'm going to assume. Because there is... There are two Picaroms, Tapu Koko, Celestila, and Magnezone in his hand. Or maybe I'm, you know, I'm, my math is wrong, but that's what I, yeah. Because that's what I saw uh, him drawing, so that's definitely what is in that hand. Two Picaroms, Celestila, uh, and Tapu Koko, Magnezone. Let's go. You know what, I'm just gonna play it here, because Severe Poison is enough, right, like, it really is enough right now, and I don't really want to risk uh, with uh, that energy getting lost, because if he's gonna knock out this Mook and Mook, I would lose four energies. And there we go, that is a win. So guys, that is a Mew and Mew to Alolan Mook and Mook deck. What do you guys think about that deck? You can copy and paste it, and... I hope you do really like it and enjoy it. I do like it. I do like those new cards. And see you guys tomorrow on stream. And see you guys in more Unified Minds pack openings. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. Raven loves you. Bye. Mwah.